Hello, Fort McCoy Cougars. Welcome to the 2021-2022 school year. I'm Jordan Sertum, your principal, and we are excited for our virtual open house event this year. Our open house is virtual this year due to COVID-19. On Fort McCoy School campus, we are still having mitigation measures in place, such as social distancing when possible, face coverings for all staff members, face coverings for students whose parents have not signed up and opt out, which is available on marionschools.net. And we also have um, procedures in place like drinking from water bottles, refillable water bottles, and not drinking directly from the water fountains, and things of that nature. Parents, there are new exclusion guidelines for you to be mindful of. Just recently, our governor signed an executive order that students who are identified as a direct exposure to someone who tested positive for COVID-19 but are not experiencing symptoms do not have to exclude. At this point, it is the parent's choice whether your child excludes for the seven-day exclusion period or whether your child continues to come to campus. But again, any student experiencing any symptoms of COVID-19 should stay home. Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to give our clinic a call concerning COVID-19. We are an AVID school. We are a school-wide AVID school, and AVID means Advancement Via Individual Determination. And AVID works to close the opportunity gap for all students. In AVID, we focus on high-yield instructional strategies in the areas of writing, inquiry, collaboration, organization, and reading. So our teachers are implementing these strategies in classes with your students to increase student achievement. We are also a school-wide positive behavior intervention school. So that means that we have positive behavior incentives in place for our students, such as Cougar Cash and Cougar Cash Cart, where we reward students for following our school-wide big three. So our big three are to do your best, to do what's right, and to treat others the way you want to be treated. This year, we have a new learning management system called Canvas. Parents, if you have not gotten into your child's Canvas account yet, take a look at it. This is where teachers can post assignments for students if they are excluded or absent, and students can access work from home. This is also where teachers can post announcements and things specific to their class in place of the old teacher web pages. So please, if you have questions about Canvas, don't hesitate to reach out. We do have a parent liaison this year, Ms. Desi Futch, who can support you with any needs you have in connecting home and school. Another way to connect home and school is by getting involved in your child's education. And you can do that by joining our PTO or our SAC committees. Our next PTO meeting is scheduled for October 14th, and our next SAC meeting will be November 11th. We hope that you will join us to continue to support your child's education because when we work together as a team, we accomplish more. Hi, I'm Eric Ostanek, Assistant Principal here at Fort McCoy School for the middle school side. And speaking of ways to get involved, we have lots of extracurricular activities for students to participate in. Those activities include band and chorus, and then with band and chorus, you get the chance to participate in the parade and do a, um, a couple concerts throughout the year. Um, hopefully, with all the COVID stuff permitting, allows us to do that again this year, as last year we kind of missed out on some of those great activities. We also have several clubs, like the Future Farmers of America, which is our FFA club that Ms. Davis has. We have the FBLA club, which is the Future Business Leaders of America. That's another awesome club, and it, um, Ms. Heinrich has that club for our students that are in business or are interested in being in the business class. We have the art club with Mr. Parks. That gives the kids a chance to work on their art skills and different activities that he works with with those children. We also have Beta Club with Ms. Taschenberger. Beta Club is kind of like a National Honor Society club. It gives kids the chance to focus on their academic skills as well as citizenship. We have the Fans Club, a nutrition, a nutrition club that Ms. Gonzalez runs for us. We also have the Drama Club with Ms. Noel. There's a couple plays every year, that, and it gives kids a chance to perform on the stage in the cafeteria. There are several sports that are available here at Fort McCoy. We have boys and girls cross country, boys and girls volleyball, boys and girls basketball, and boys and girls track. 
So there's plenty of activities for kids to get involved in here at Fort McCoy. We hope everyone has a chance to be involved and has a chance to support Fort McCoy School. Thank you. Parents, we have a large number of staff here that are ready and willing to support you and your child. If you have concerns um, as far as your child's academic progress in class, or you'd like to set up a parent conference, you can reach out to our guidance department. On the elementary side, that's Mary Taschenberger, and on the middle school side, Tiffany McQueen. Parents, if you have concerns with how you can support positive behavior at school for your child, you can reach out to our Student Services Department. On the elementary side, that's Miss Jackie Favors, and on the middle school side, Mr. Luke Blackson. Hi, Fort McCoy Cougars. I am Mrs. Elder, your assistant principal of the elementary side of the school, and I am here in Miss DeCasper's den. And right beside me, we have because of Win Dixie right here. Here's Win Dixie. You know what a little scamp he was, just creating all kinds of chaos. So I'd like to encourage all of you to read, pick up a book and read. This week, I also wanted to let you know about a few things. Um, first thing is arrival time. Our kids come on campus at 710 from the buses. They get breakfast or they can go to the bowl if they're in middle school or one of our labs. There's a middle school side lab and an elementary side lab. And then they also get to come to the media center, which is where I am today. Car line arrival time is 720. So we would like for you guys to be in the line dropping our kids off at 720 because our first bell for kids to be in class rings at 745. If you drop them off at 720, it gives them time to get breakfast or enjoy some social time with their friends at either the media center, the bowl, or one of our labs. And then they'll be promptly in class at 745. Dismissal happens at Fort McCoy starting at 155. 155 is for our K2 kiddos. This is so that they can get out to car line before the big crush comes in. So we like to be able to get our pre-Kers loaded first and then our early elementary. And then at 205, our middle school and our grades three through five dismiss and come out to car line or buses depending on how they're getting home. So just a little bit of information about our dismissal process. Please keep in mind parents, if you do have a child that is a car rider, we do not want them in or you in the car line before that 155 time because we have buses that are coming from the back to go and line up. I think that's it for me guys, so have a great day the Cougar way. Parents, please now take the time to go through our school website, access your child's grade levels, and any information that teachers have shared for our virtual open house event. This may include classroom expectations, grading procedures, parent conferences, and all of those good things for ways that we can work together. We are so excited for this school year. And although it didn't start out as planned, as our theme at Fort McCoy states, nothing's gonna break our stride. We are moving forward to student proficiency and we are excited to get back to the business of learning. Have a great day.